Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and you know how in the last couple of tutorials I showed you guys how to make a basic function, and I also told you guys that inside your parentheses you could have extra variables which are pretty much extra information that your function needs in order to work. Now the, the technical name for this extra information is an argument. So if you have more than one variables they're called arguments and I'm going to show you guys how to have a default value for your arguments in this video. If you guys are like okay why would we ever need this? It's useless. Well let me give you guys an example. Say that we're using Python for web development and we're making a social network and whenever the user signs up they can select if they're male or female and then it'll display on their profile however if they enter nothing then we don't just want to enter an empty value into our database or else bad things can happen get some unexpected results so we want to set a default value for their gender so let's make a function called get gender and we'll set the sex and instead of just passing it in a value explicitly we'll say okay by default sex is equal to unknown so that way we can have something to put in our database instead of just emptiness a void so now what we can do is say okay if sex if they enter M then we'll just set it equal to male so again this the final variable will be the one that we throw into our database and then we'll just put else if sex is female then set it equal to the word female and of course the last thing we want to do is print sex which would be pretty much printing it to our database instead of just on the screen but for this example it'll work fine so now what we can do is this la la actually if I type all these examples it's probably going to be really easy to see what's going on alright let me adjust my chair adjusting adjusting that's what they called me in I don't know I was trying to think of something funny to say but something like with a name Justin but I don't know if anyone has anything good then let me know and I'll use it in like 10 tutorials when everyone forget that it forgets that I couldn't come up with anything alright so let's run this and check out what happens so if they entered M it says okay by default we have sex equal to unknown but you entered M so we're gonna use that value instead so if they enter F we say okay sex you want to equal F now in this one right here we didn't enter anything we didn't enter M F or any letters at all so in this case it would say okay since you didn't give me a value to set sex equal to I'm gonna enter it as unknown by default so again that is the default value so now sex is equal to unknown so when it prints it out to your database it just prints out unknown so it's a lot better than just printing out nothing because again like I say it could confuse the database and there are other examples of when this is useful as well but hopefully you guys understand what a default value is basically if you forget to set the variable explicitly it has something to store by default so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, again tell me uh, a Justin joke if you have one so see you later